Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing high growth oil that you only need to use twice a week for extreme high growth. Now, I hope that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the ingredients, all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it towards the end of the video. Now, before we get into it, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you, my subscribers. Like, I really love and appreciate your support. Like, honestly, thank you so much for being patient as well for the times that I wasn't feeling so well and I couldn't really upload a video. And thanks to all of you guys that checked up on me. I'm doing much better now. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family. Now, let's hop right into the video, guys. So, we are going to need some fresh aloe vera. Now, I use this um, and I got it from my regular um, Afro Caribbean store. You can find it in most Indian stores as well. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, what if I don't have fresh aloe vera, guys? Now, if you don't, it's better to just leave it out. But for today's recipe, you do need some fresh aloe vera, just like what I've got here. So essentially, if you're using it, you can cut a part of it and essentially just use a clean film to cover the part that has been cut. And you can keep it in your fridge for so long, literally like over two months and it stays in good condition. So I went ahead and I rinsed off this bit of the aloe vera that I'm going to need. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut it into smaller pieces. Now, aloe vera is so good when it comes to high growth because it helps to stimulate the scalp. Um, it's so full of amazing vitamins and antioxidants that do help to stimulate hair growth. It helps to moisturize your hair. It makes it nice and shiny, prevents dandruff. So lots and lots of amazing benefits when it comes to this one ingredient. So essentially, after you cut it all up, you just want to go ahead and pop it in a little bowl. And then we're going to move on to our next step. Now our next ingredient guys will be some ground coffee. Now this coffee that I'm using is not decaf, um, it is essentially um, caffeinated and that's what you want guys, you need the caffeine in your coffee because that's the uh, active ingredient. So essentially the caffeine in coffee has been known to help stimulate hair growth and stop hair loss. One study in 2007 actually found that the caffeine helped to block the effect of GHT, which is basically a hormone that has been linked with hair loss. So essentially, if this hormone is stopped, then it can help to stimulate shaft elongation, resulting in longer and wider hair roots. So after that, guys, we're going to go in with some cloves. Now, this is ground cloves. Now, it is just whole cloves that I grounded myself uh, in the house. Um, so you can do the same. So essentially I added about maybe a tablespoon of cloves. Now cloves also is very very beneficial when it comes to high growth because it helps to increase the blood flow to the scalp which again just helps to nourish your follicles and to provide it with all of the nutrients that it needs for your hair to grow. So after you've done that guys, we're now going to go in with some coconut oil. Now in my previous recipes, some of you guys actually mentioned being allergic to coconut oil and I would say it's fine to leave it out if you are allergic to it and just use perhaps, you know, any other substitute. Like it could be um, shea butter, for example, which is actually really good as well. Or mango butter that you can replace this with so I added about two tablespoons of coconut oil now I'm going in here with some raised oil but you can also use olive oil for this if you want to or sunflower oil or any other oil that you may have that is resistant to heat now rapeseed oil also is very good for the hair because it helps to seal your cuticle cells make your hair really nice and shiny and smooth which again prevents knots and tangos in your hair and prevent it from breaking as well so i don't know exactly how many spoons of this i've added guys but i'll write it on the screen somewhere here <laughs> This is another 
another important ingredient that you need for this recipe if you haven't got this guys i will suggest you get your hands on it i will see if i can find the link for you guys it will be in my description box and that's um, msm powder now msm powder is really good when it comes to promoting high growth because it just helps to promote the formation of bonds at follicle level and essentially these bonds help to strengthen existing hair strands and it helps to promote new hair growth so really good for regrowing bald areas or thinning hair or hair that just doesn't seem to be growing like this is the one that you need to consider perhaps trying out i know um people have different feedbacks when it comes to msm so you have to really try it for yourself to know whether it's something that works for you but generally it has amazing high growth results so i added about one um a teaspoon of that then we are doing the double boiler method here just so we can preserve as much of the nutrients as we can um, of this whole thing essentially so to do that you just pop a um, pot on the stove add some water to it and then allow it to boil and then add your bowl of your ingredients essentially and allow it to basically just boil for a little bit now you know this is done when the aloe vera has turned from that bright green color to like this kind of dark looking green color essentially so i was just showing you guys what the difference is so that's how you know it's ready pretty much so take it off the stove i like to cool down and then we're just going to go ahead and strain it now to strain it guys it's fine to use a coffee filter or you can use like a, a wig cap or stocking cap or even a tea towel if you got one that has fine holes and uh, it would just do the job fine but I've been using these paper towels for my kitchen for so long and it's just been doing the job really. So that's what I'm using again in today's video. So you just want to go ahead and strain just to get rid of the uh, powders essentially and the aloe vera as well. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Now this is it here guys, it is completely strained. Now you can see that I've got some stuff at the bottom, don't worry about that. It is essentially um, the cloves and the coffee. So I'm going to go ahead now and add some preservatives. Uh, this is just to prolong you know the, the lifespan of this oil so lots of you guys asked me previously again what preservative i'm using i'm using this one from a company called nessence um, again i'll find a link and link it in my description box in case you want to purchase it so i added a few drops of that now i'm going in with some essential oils which again are really really beneficial when it comes to stimulating the follicles to provide you know faster higher growth because it just improves the blood flow to the scalp in general so the same ones that i'm using i mean if you've been working with me for a while you would know these oils uh, but there are other ones like lavender essential oil or rosemary essential oils that are really good um so i use peppermint and tea tree essential oils and these are fine like they've been working well for me so essentially um just go ahead and stir it just to combine everything and that's pretty much it this is our oil nice and ready look at that color this oil has the right thickness to it it's got the um amazing nutrients that will give us you know give our hair what it needs to grow so i do hope that you go ahead and try this out guys or if you're going to try it let me know in the comment section down below and if you have any questions also leave them in the comment section down below I will read them and answer them so essentially pop it in a little jar just so you can store and then that's pretty much it now stick with me guys I'm gonna share with you basically how I'm using this and how you should be using it um, to get maximum results okay guys so we are going to now uh, go ahead and use this um, so my hair is currently braided um, just like I said guys I haven't really been feeling well recently and I just thought I would braid my hair because at least that would just mean I won't have to think about it um, for a little bit so essentially I've had this braid braids for about maybe like two weeks um, and I'm not actually planning to take it down anytime soon until I do feel like myself again essentially um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my roots 
um, you know. So essentially, if your hair is, you know, it could be in any any um, state. It could be braided or conroed or I don't know, like even out. So essentially, it's the same way that you would apply this. So you want to go ahead and apply it to your scalp, apply to that, that area that it, perhaps your, the, your hair needs to grow from. So let's say if you got, you know, if you lost your edges or you've got some bald patches that you're trying to regrow, definitely go ahead and apply it to that area. So I'm that's basically all I'm doing. I'm just working it through my scalp, essentially, including my edges and all of that stuff. <laughs> Now you can also use this as a sealant so let's say you are just moisturizing your hair and you want to seal the moisture it's okay to use this as well uh, just to seal the moisture in your hair guys it's so moisturizing too um, so essentially after you've done that you want to go ahead and massage your scalp guys it's so important so scalp massages again great for high growth because it increases the blood flow so massage with your fingers really well I usually massage for about five minutes before you know just taking a little break um, so massage as much as you can and you can use it twice a week or even more if you want to just clearly depends on you but I'll say twice as a minimum is a good way to start so this is kind of pretty much it for me today guys I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already and leave me a comment and I'll catch you in my next video bye